Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots. This is the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Royals today is Jim Rooker, whose record is 6-10 with a 3.91 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 2-0 with a 0.79 ERA. So we got off to a bad start here at home, uh, losing yesterday's game to a Wally Bunker. We lost 5-2. to two. We were never really in the ballgame. We scored a run late to make it interesting, I guess, but uh, we did have two runners on base uh, in the ninth inning, but we just, as you might expect, not able to um, to pull it out. So it was kind of a, a bummer of a way to start the series. We're playing another expansion team, and one that is well, uh, just based on the record, is certainly worse than we are. Um, so I feel like we should be able to win these last two games, but we have to go with our number five starter, uh, John Gelnar, who's making his second start uh, of the season. So we'll see how that plays out today. Uh, you may have noticed yesterday I tried something new with the channel. I put out uh, four shorts, uh, videos that are less than a minute in duration, and uh, gave it a go to see, you know, what kind of interest that would generate in the channel and I posted a bunch of videos with the uh, Marvel superhero cards that I uh, got in a collection of cards that I purchased uh, before uh, December last year and I like all the nerds came out and gave me a bunch of thumbs down so if you <laughs> if you watch those shorts for me please give them a thumbs up even if you hate them I don't know why you would hate them I don't understand why anybody would give a thumbs down. Uh, but uh, the nerds came out in droves, and I uh, got a lot of views. But I got a lot of thumbs down. So uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up on those videos if you have time to watch them. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's move on to today's game with uh, the Royals. And uh, as always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe. We did get two new subscribers out of those videos yesterday. Um, and so I guess ultimately, uh, you know, we're one step closer to getting to a thousand subscribers. That's, that's the fun part, I guess. Okay. John Gelnar on the mound. He has yet to face the Royals, uh, this season. All of the bullpen is available. That's good. And Jim Rooker is a left, <coughs> a left-handed starter. And because of that, uh, all of our batters are righties today. So Hegan gets the day off. Joe Pepitone will get the day off. Don Bosch is out. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that is uh, how we're going to roll today versus Jim Rooker. All righties. Let's take a look at the lineup rundown now for the Kansas City Royals. Same as yesterday. Batting leadoff in right field is Pat Kelly. Batting second at third base is Joe Foy. Batting third in left field is Lou Pinilla. Batting cleanup in, and playing first base is Mike Fiore. Batting fifth and catching is Ed Kirkpatrick. Batting sixth in center field is Joe Keough. Batting seventh at shortstop is Jackie Hernandez. Batting eighth at second base is Billy Harris. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jim Rooker. Okay, John Gelnar, we don't have a lot to look at here. As I mentioned, he's making his second start. Uh, he's 2-0 with that 0.79 ERA. Not a lot to talk about here. Let's just look at his log. Uh, he did make that start versus Baltimore, went five innings, gave up five hits and four walks, but he only gave up one run. So, wild, but not the worst performance and certainly good enough to beat the first place Baltimore Orioles. So, got to give him some credit for that. Um, his overall rating is a 76, so he's below average, and he's only 26 years old. So he's certainly a stopgap for us, and uh, if we can get a couple more starts out of him this year before we start calling up some of the youngsters, uh, that's all we need from him. There's our defense for today's ball game. Uh, we are suspect in all the same places, catcher, second base, and right field, solid everywhere else. Okay, Pat Kelly leading off against John Gelner. Kelly thrown out twice yesterday 
stealing, and he gets on base here in the first. So will he be going against Gelnar and McNerty? Joe Foy with a runner on first, and he walks him. So, jeez, we already know how this game is going to go. If you give up a hit and a walk in the first, there's not much you can do. Pinella hits a ground ball to third, though, and a double play. Okay, well, maybe we have a chance to get out of it. We'll have to get the uh, left-hander, Mike Fiore. He's got his average over 200 after yesterday's game. Two down, runner on third. First pitch swinging, and he crushes it for a two-run home run. That is Fiore's fourth home run this season and then Kirkpatrick hits a pretty decent fly ball to right that's gonna be over 300 feet almost 400 feet to center field and we're down two already all right let's take a look at our lineup rundown for today's ball game getting the start in center field and batting leadoff is Johnny Jeter batting second at second base is Gary Sutherland Batting third at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting cleanup playing left field today is Tommy Agee. Batting fifth in right field is Tommy Harper. Batting sixth playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting seventh and catching is Jerry McNertney. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek and the pitcher Gelnar probably won't even get in the bat. Uh, Jim Rooker making his 20th start already. Wow, there are pitchers who are making their 20th start, and I believe we're on our 16th. He is 6-10 with a 3.91 ERA, 78 strikeouts in 133 and two-thirds innings pitched. He walks a batter every other inning. Uh, opponents are betting 267 against him, six complete games. Come on. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour, and that is his best pitch. He's rated in 87. Solid curveball. Overall, in the 84, the 26-year-old lefty goes to arbitration in 1971. Uh, take a look here at his log. I'm sure he had to pitch against us. Yes, one time. And he took the loss, although he did throw a complete game. He went eight and two-third innings, giving up seven hits and four runs with five walks. And I'm guessing we walked it off on him, right? Eight and two thirds and a complete game. So good for us. Well, we're gonna we're already in a hole here. There's the defense for the Royals. Solid everywhere, but second base. That's Billy Harris out there. Okay, Johnny Jeter leading off. Jeter getting the spot start in center field. Hard hit ground ball to short. Hernandez making the play one out. Next up is Gary Sutherland, still betting 365 versus lefties. He dumps it into the left center field, get down. That's ah, going to be caught. I feel like this is the part of the season where Sutherland's average starts to come back down to earth. They're, you're just going to give him a bunch of offers. Um, there's probably not much we can do about that until he gets down to 260. Rich Rollins had the day off yesterday, and he gets a base hit to uh, get our first hit of the day. Rollins on first for Tommy Agee. I would love to get a home run here tied up. Agee sitting on 12 home runs and a slow roller to second base. And that will do it. We are going to the top of the second inning. Here is Joe Keough leading off. Keough popping it up on the infield. Right at the lip of the grass behind second. Play made by the shortstop. Patek, there's one down. And then Hernandez strikes out. So Gelder gets his first K of the ball game. Will it be the strikeout walk combination? Nope. Little curveball, of course, the base at the left. Is it a double? No, Harris will hold. So that will bring up the pitcher, Jim Rooker. He's betting 108 this season and a line drive to third Rollins 
makes the play. Going to the bottom of the second inning, Tommy Harper leading off. Harper 0 for 3 in that previous uh, appearance by Rooker. Had two walks that game too, though. Yeah, we are... How can we not hit this team at home? Maybe it's because we're not making any money. Oh, Darren Johnson! A line drive home run to right field. That is his seventh home run on the season. Six as a pilot. Um, I think now that he's not playing every day, maybe he's a little more hungry. I was just going to complain that uh, maybe because we're not making any money and the uh, players have to use the same towels they used yesterday. <laughs> Uh, in the showers, maybe they're a little grumpy. McNerty lines out to left. There's two down. And Freddie Pontek, he's got a hit in four of the last five ball games. So uh, he's going to continue to get the start at shortstop. Grounding out to short, and we go to the top of the third. We get a run on the board thanks to Darren Johnson's seventh, uh, seventh home run of the year. We head to the top of third with Pat Kelly leading off a ground ball to second. Finally, we keep that guy off the base path. One down. Next up is Joe Foy, 235 hitter versus righties. Little lazy fly ball on the infield, caught by the shortstop Patek. And Sweet Lou Pinilla. Maybe the best trade candidate we, we have uh, for Harper. Grounds out to third. I don't really like trading within my division. That's always, uh, I mean, it's kind of a, I don't know. It's kind of a truism in baseball. Uh, you never really want to trade within your own division. Maybe even your own um, uh, league, but sometimes you got to do it. Well, Gelnar is going to lead off the inning. He will get it at bat today. One for two on the year. It's not too shabby. Oh, look at this. He goes deep to center field off the wall. We are not going to get greedy. We're going to hold him to a double. Is he a good hitter? Like, I don't know this. Um, let's take a look at his. He went one for six in 1967 with Pittsburgh. And, yeah, he's got a career high two hits and three at bats. And the runner now, tying run, is on uh, second base. It's scoring position for Johnny and Gita. We're going to hit to the right side. Just try to move him along. Oh, no. Yeah. Pitch was inside. Jeter couldn't lay off. He had two strikes against him, and that does not help us at all. So now we just let Gary Sutherland take a cut. Base hit to right field. Gelnar with score. It is all tied at two. Where would we be without Sutherland in the middle infield? And a great hit and run situation here for Rollins. As I mentioned before, he got the first hit of the ball game. Oh no. Oh, he just got a piece of it to put it in play. Sutherland advances to second. And it will be up to AG to get the run in. He is 0 for 5. He does not hit lefties well, but we can't keep his bat out of the lineup. And his defense. Although he did make an error yesterday in center field. Fly ball to the left. That'll do it. We tie it up on the Sutherland base hit. We go to the top of the fourth inning. And Fiore leading off. He went deep. Had a two-run home run in the first inning. And Geldar wants nothing to do with him. Walks the leadoff, man. I kind of want to guard the lines here. but Because uh, we do. Uh, I don't know. Uh, should we? I'm going to say no. I'm going to let... Um, I'm going to let him pitch to Kirkpatrick here. I feel like we should take him out right now. Uh, pound in the dirt. It's going to be an error. Oh, no! He's going to play it! Well, you know it's a 50-50 shot when they pound it right into the dirt. We saw that yesterday. It happened uh, with uh, Kirkpatrick. So... We'll take it. It does move Fiore over, though. And uh, we're going to pull first base in a little bit. Maybe uh, intimidate Joe Keo. Oh. So there's nothing we're going to do to stop that run from scoring. 
We'll pull the infield in, but it will make a difference here. Base hit to left, three to two. All right. Probably should have just pulled him out of the ball game. We have a sixth sense when we know, you know, these things are going to happen. If we probably had pulled him out there, we would have won this ball game. Stolen base by Keo, and somehow that was a strike. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, down a run. Here is Tommy Harper leading off. Harper base hit to right field. Leadoff man is on. Johnson just hit a home run. Do we try to steal? I'm going to say no. It's a left-hander on the mound. Too risky. We'll let Darren Johnson take another cut here. He's already gone deep. He pulls that one down the third baseline. God bless it. Oh, come on, man. It's so stupid. And then McNerty gets a base at the center. Going to the top of the fifth inning. Um, well, he's got to start off with versus Rucker. I think he can get one more out here at least. I was wrong. This game sucks so bad. I mean, and an error. He gets the third base on an error by AG. So he's had errors in the outfield back to back. This game is done. Yep. Foy pops it up on the infield. There's out number one. Um, I can't believe Kelly has not stolen second base yet. Maybe we block him when we uh, do an infield in. Maybe they won't run on that. The game doesn't know any better, of course. There's a ground ball to short. Rooker will hold. Kelly does advance. And now a base hit will score two. And that is what happened last time. Probably what will happen again. Nope, he strikes out looking. We do manage to get out of the jam. Geldar not batting again. Not a good performance. I guess we should have expected that. Danny Walton coming off the bench. Normally I bring in Bosch, but Bosch has been sucking the pipe. Here's Danny Walton. Base hit to right. Oh, wait. Oh, it's caught. Oh, man. I thought he was going to lead off with a base hit. He does that so often in pinch hit situations, but no such luck. Yeah, Rooker's going to set, settle down here and um, start wiping us out one by one. Yep. Mm. All right. Let's bring in Ron Locke. Now, Locke has thrown 39 in a third innings pitch in relief for us. Uh, he only pitched one other time in the majors way back in 1964, and he threw 41 in a third. So I feel like the closer we get to this number, the more the ERA will probably get to this uh, rate, uh, the 348 number there from his previous season. I guess we'll find out today. He strikes out Kirkpatrick. Ron Locke, what a good pickup he was for us. As Keo skies it on the infield. It's going to carry the outfield grass, though. Shallow left center field for out number two. Here is Jackie Hernandez. And that's a double. Maybe a triple. Maybe an error. All right. Well, I suspected he'd give up a run. Let's see if he does. We could... Um, we could... Intentionally walk Harris to get to the pitcher. That's the right thing to do. Harris batting 400 versus lefties. All right. First and second, two down. Rooker's got a double. Went to third on the air. Oh, fuck this game, man. 
What a bunch of shit. Uh, two doubles by Jim Rooker? First two doubles of the season. I mean, you knew he had to give up that run to get that ERA up. This game sucks so bad. Like, instead of just uh, getting out, like having the pitcher get out in the you know the part of the programming, there's no way this pitcher should be be able to hit off of Rooker. But not only does he get a double and drive in two runs, but like I, he should have been out. He should get out, and then the next inning, if the game s thinks that he, they should score two runs, then he should get it hits off of uh, the regular batters. You know, like it just doesn't make sense. Instead, something completely unrealistic happens. It's so stupid. Here's Tommy Agee, who's been terrible in the field. Like, I've said it before, it doesn't bother me to lose. We are an expansion team. It's just the most asinine ways this game is programmed to do it is it makes no sense. So they're going to give us some runs back here, it looks like. It's first and third. A bunch of damn singles. Now the catcher's up. Um, not really a hit and run guy. But we're going to try to hit and run here. Put the ball in play. Because otherwise the double play is in order. That's a ground ball to first. Harper will score. So give McNerty an RBI on that. Johnson advances. That's a tying run. We get the two runs back. Will Patek drive him in? So what's Locks ERA? 312. Um, so yeah, I mean, if we leave him in, he's going to give up another run. No doubt about it. So we will uh, take out Locke. And we'll bring in Pedro Ramos. Now he's due to give up some runs too. He hasn't given up any this year. So there will not be... Any surprise if he gives up a run or two. Yep, there we go. Lou Pinilla flying out to right field. Here come the lefties. Mike Fiore's already got a dong. Looking for a double dong day. Ground ball to first. Yeah, of course. We can't turn two there. But... Foy's in scoring position for Kirkpatrick. He walks. Ground ball to short. That'll do it. Bottom of the seventh inning. Pedro Ramos coming out of the ball game. We will. We have no other choice but to pinch hit Bosch. Bosch sucks. I mean, he was like, he was going to be our everyday outfielder, but he can't play, uh, he can play defense, he can't get on base. Another automatic out. Comebacker from Jeter. And Gary Sutherland. Fly ball to center. Going to the eighth. We will bring in Skippy. Skip Lockwood. Getting the job done. Looking good. Bottom third of the lineup. Jackie Hernandez leading off. Striking him out. Billy Harris going down the line. Pinch hitter George Spriggs. Base hit up the middle. There's nothing that I can say anymore that will make any sense. Just push the button. Hey, Bo! 
It's Mo Drabowski coming in. Uh, he's all right. He's four and five, three seventy six ERA, nine saves, three blueies. Fastball rated in eighty eight. Overall at eighty three. The thirty three year old already free agent next year. Let's look at the in game stats. Rollins two for three. Ground ball to third. Tommy Agee has been horrible today. 0 for 3 and two errors in the last two games. Oh, he's safe on an error here. I mean, there's no point in trying to steal. We need a two run home run. Harper is not the guy to do it. He hasn't had a home run in forever. Darren Johnson could be that guy. He'll take a base at the center field. Good job by Johnson. That's his third hit. Jerry McNertney. I mean, it's a crapshoot with him. He does drive in runs. There we go. Going to the ninth inning. Riddle Burger. How do you like your burgers? Riddled with mad cow disease. Pushing the buttons. Bottom of the ninth inning. They're going to bring in Frank White to play second base. Freddie Patek leading off. No, he's not. We're going to pinch hit Mike Hegan because he can get on. And if he gets on, then we're bringing up the Pepitone. But he's got to get on first. Nope. He gets one for one with a walk and a home run versus Mo. He hate mowed him right there. All right, well this game's over. It was over in the first inning. Pepitone will bat anyway because and Jeter to end the ball game. We just lost two games at home to one of the worst teams in baseball. Six to four this loss. Take a look at the stand. And we're back. Um, we ha I had to uh, edit out because it took a little while there to simulate. As you can see, there's the uh, six to four to lo loss today. Take a look at the standings. Yep. We're back to three. So we're actually going to end up 40 and 40. That's what the game is going to force us to be at the end of the month. We were on pace to actually have a winning month. Now we will not because of these stupid losses to the Royals at home. It's just a bunch of shit, man. Let's take a look at the headline news. Uh, nothing to report on. That's good. The game was not worth reporting. Transactions. Were there any trades because of all that? Uh, simulating? No. In fact, there was nothing. All right. Let's pull up the stupid box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe. We're two games away from the halfway point. And we're, what, like eight games away from the All-Star game. So that should be fun, too. That's one thing to look forward to. Absolutely giving player of the game to Darren Johnson. Three for four, had the home run, drove in the two RBIs. Um, the error by Tommy Agee. Why is he so bad defensively? Yeah, he's got three errors in center field, and he made the error today in left field. His I guess maybe he was due. I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah, uh, not a bad performance from Rich Rollins. He also had the day off yesterday. Tommy Harper had a couple of hits, but... Did not come through when we needed him. He had opportunity today to give us the lead. He blew it. John Gilnar pitched terrible. Our bullpen was shit. It was all garbage today. We're talking garbage. Uh, Jim Rooker got the win. He's 7-10. And, and Hey Mo got his 10th save. So that's going to do it. We'll come back tomorrow with game three of the three-game series. The last game of the month. And also after tomorrow's game, there will be a separate video where we will do the standings and league leaders. Until then, everyone, have a great day.